So the Storm Chaser, um, this like, if I just like marked every day that I rode a Storm Chaser, you would, I could tell how good of my season is because if it's POW, I'm on a Storm Chaser. It's just, it's such a special, unique feeling board. It is the fastest gliding board that I've ever felt. Uh, it really feels like surfing. Um, that spoon nose, it rolls into the turn incredibly well. Uh, and so traditionally for me on a normal winter, ideally we got decent snow right? and in December and January and often into February, it's like we're staying out of the big high mountains, the Abbey Danger's too high, there's too many storms and I'm riding a lot of like rolling tree powder. and that's where the storm chase is just perfect because it's um it glides so fast that it it takes say a 30 degree slope and it makes it 40 degrees because you're going way faster and so that's why i've been hooked on it um, i even brought it up to Alaska and was like, I just want to see what Alaska feels like on a storm chaser. Ended up staying on the board uh, all, you know, I never got off it. It just totally, I had so much speed under my feet, which then allowed me to like make more turns. I needed to make more turns. So I got kind of more out of the mountain. Uh, but the other thing that really surprised me is the storm chaser I really got into riding it in smooth corduroy uh, and like spring, really soft spring snow. And it just, you know, it, the, where it, I'd say the, the weak point on a Storm Chaser is once again, bumpy, icy, hard pack. It's, um, it's gonna chatter you around. Having that wide board, every time you hit chatter, it's just gonna rattle you. And you can do it, you just gotta go slower and really like turn your way through it and keep your speed down on it. So yeah, uh, Storm Chaser, um, it's you're truly surfing the mountain on it. It's playful, uh, just glides faster than any board I've ever ridden. And it's, yeah, it, it's, it, you're surfing the snow.